All right, everybody. So summer is here and it is hot, hot, hot outside. I think today outside it was like 103 degrees, maybe here in North Carolina. But trust me, you go outside, you might just pass out. So today I'm going to make for you a nice, cool, refreshing summer uh, strawberry lemonade. And we're going to make it right here, right now. Just follow along with me. So I got my three lemons right here, right? I'm gonna cut them in half. I've already rolled out my lemons to get all the juices flowing through each one of them. And I've got my lemon squeezer here. And I'm just gonna place it in there and get the squeezer. And I've already put about maybe five to six cups of hot water in my uh, pitcher here. It depends on your pitcher how much water you'll need, but you'll know uh, because you don't want, you will know because you don't want your lemonade to be as watery. <laughs> so that's all up to you and your size of pitcher. I'm just gonna squeeze all my lemons in there to get that nice lemon flavor. And this is my first time actually using a lemon squeezer. It's not that hard. It's a workout, I'll tell you that. I'm trying to move as fast as I can for y'all. And I love, love, love strawberry lemonade. I go to Wendy's all the time to get that uh, all natural lemonade. Well, I said, why go to Wendy's and pay them about four or five dollars when I can make it right here in my kitchen? Fresh, natural lemonade. And I'm on my last lemonade. All right, so I'm gonna cut my strawberries up here for my lemonade. This is going to give it a nice, fruit, refreshing taste. Uh -oh. Okay. I'm just going to cut them up into like little slices. Nothing too fancy. You can cut them down into cubes if you like, but I just want to keep, kind of keep them whole so I can like taste it along with my lemonade and then I like to eat the strawberries after I drink the lemonade. However you like to do it, but today we're gonna do it how I wanna do it. So I also have about a half a cup of lemon juice here. I'm gonna pour it into my pitcher. And this is gonna provide a more lemon tart uh, taste to it. Um, I really don't like my lemonade too sweet. I like the taste of lemon of the lemonade. Um, so I use lemon juice as well to help enhance that flavor. You just wanna give it a couple stirs. Okay, I'm gonna use about a cup and a half of white sugar. And you just wanna stir that while you pour it in so it can get all mixed up. Remember that uh, sugar does not dissolve unless the water is hot, for those that don't know. For those Kool-Aid experts out there, you know that uh, <laughs> The water has to be hot to dissolve that sugar. And I got my sugar all in there. And now I'm just gonna throw in my strawberries and then push them down in there to help enhance the strawberry flavor as well into the lemonade. All right, so I got everything mixed up into the pitcher. You're gonna go ahead and put your pitcher in the refrigerator for about three to four hours so everything can get nice and cool and refreshing for you. And then you can go ahead and pour it up, pour it up into that glass and go have a seat out there on your porch. We're gonna go ahead and take it over here to our refrigerator. See you guys when you come back. All right, so our lemonade has been chilled for about three to four hours in the refrigerator. And now I'm gonna go ahead and serve our lemonade. And you know, you can always put you in a little party favor, you know, a little party favor. 
<laughs> a little alcoholic beverage, tequila, whatever you prefer. Uh, spike it a little bit, but this is gonna be a virgin lemonade. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. Who knew lemonade could be so easy? Um, again, this is our stra my strawberry lemonade recipe. You can find a recipe. <laughs> I might be a little tipsy right now. <laughs> but no, I didn't put no alcohol in. But you can find the recipe down in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you have a very hot but chill summer. Hey Cravers, it's me Raphael. Now, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it as well as click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a new video. Keep on craving, y'all.